Hey guys, it's the Monkeys for Life here, and today I'm going to be making another video. Um, this video will be my cassettes collection. I know I've been doing a lot of collection videos lately, and I'm sorry, but I don't really have anything else at the moment to make videos on. Um, I have records still that I can do a collection video on. I have 45s I can still do a collection video on. I can do like a room tour once I clean it up because my stupid sister keeps messing it up. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to continue making the collections videos, and uh, you guys can feel free to comment down below in the comment section what you want to see next, and I will gladly take that into consideration. With that being said, I just want to hop right into the video. Okay, so first we have Rock While You Roll that I only got because Ramblin' Man by the Allman Brothers Band is on here, and the only, and the only song on there is that one that I know. And then we have Aerosmith by Aerosmith. Um, and then we have the TV theme song sing-along album, which makes me very excited because it has the Monkees theme song and um, American Bandstand and a whole bunch of other good show theme songs. And then we have the Traveling Wilburys Volume 1, which makes me also very happy because George Harrison was in here and Eric Clapton, Roy Orbison, and a whole bunch of other people. And then um, Bob Seger, Beautiful Loser. Which I just got because it was Bob Seger. Usually I'll just go Goodwill shopping and I'll find things and it's not and it's not really like any bias except for the fact that it's old. And then we have um, Cruising Classics by Shell, which has lots of good songs on it. Um, yeah. And then we have 1984 by Van Halen. This album has Jump on it, which is why I wanted it. And then we have Sounds of the 80s, 1985. Which also has lots of good songs on it, even though I'm not really an 80s type of girl, usually. And then there's Come Dancing with the Kinks, The Best of the Kinks, 1977 to 1986. Which I like because it has Lola, and Lola is my favorite song by the Kinks. And then we have Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, Texas Flood. He's really awesome. I didn't really enjoy his music until... Um, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony in 2015 when he was inducted, even though he's dead, um, his brother accepted. And then we have Roy Orbison, uh, just his greatest hits. And then we have Pretty Woman, which also kind of goes with the Roy Orbison thing. And then there's Elton John Duets, which has uh, lots of good of the songs that he... Um, the duets on like Don't Go Breaking My Heart which is an, which was an L Enchanted for all you youngins out there and then The Temptations which has um, My Girl on it which is a really good song and then Dance Naked by John Mellencamp and I got it because it's John Mellencamp and I have like so many John Mellencamp CDs that it's not even funny but John Mellencamp is awesome and then we have Creedence Clearwater Revival Rolling on the River and I got this at a thrift store in Minnesota and I got it because it's Green's Clue Art Arrival and my dad likes them, so sometimes we listen to that together. And then we have Steppenwolf. Uh, it's in this like cute little blue case. Oh no, I dropped it! Guys, I dropped it! Anyways, um, Steppenwolf. Sorry, I gotta get this back in here. Um, can, I got this for 25 cents, man. Can you believe that? And then we have Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, which I also got in Minnesota for ten cents. It's in like super great condition, like the case and everything, which is awesome. And then we have the Animals, uh, which I got, the House of the Rising Sun, which I got um, uh, for ten cents from the same store. And then I got Rod Stewart, Maggie May, from that same store for ten cents. I like Maggie May by Rod Stewart. That's a great song. Rod Stewart's pretty cool, too. Alright, and then we have one random cassette that came in the, a box for super a Super Tram cassette that just has random, like, old country songs on it from, like, the 40s. And then there's Joe Cocker's Greatest Hits, which uh, I like. Um, I didn't really, I haven't really listened to him in a while, but he died on my birthday last year, so I think that has some significance to me. And then we have More Credence Gold, which has More Credence Clearwater Revival songs on it. And then we have Dire Straits, Money for Nothing. The reason I'm covering it up is because there's an address on there from a guy in Minnesota that gave it away. And then we have Three Dog Night, Joy to the World. Just kidding. 
Yeah, it's called Joe to the World. Their greatest hits. Um, I, this was the first cassette that I ever got. I was really excited. This is when I started collecting cassettes because one's on this album. And one is my favorite song, My Three Dog Night. Now, I know that the video is already five minutes long, but I know, like, you guys don't want you to just be like, hey, yeah, look at all my cool stuff, and then be like, bye. So I think I'm going to pick out my favorite three, um, like, cassettes that I own, and then show you guys and talk about them for a little bit. So the first one I that's my favorite, like, absolute favorite is Aerosmith by Aerosmith, because as you know, if you watch my... Uh, new channel life video that I am obsessed with Aerosmith. I got this for 25 cents at a thrift store in Minnesota. Um, this is their first album, so it was very significant to me. And it only features like eight songs, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, only eight songs, which makes it unique in the history of music. And also, like, look at this picture. All right, hold on. I'll take the thing out because the glare might make it really weird looking. But look at look at the picture. Do you see how young and beautiful that they look? Um, yeah, that was just one that I that I got that fueled my obsession even more. Um, I used to despise Aerosmith. Funny story though, I used to think they were disgusting, but now look where we are. Okay, my second favorite is the Traveling Wilburys, um, Volume One because. I love the Traveling Wilburys because their songs are, like, literally the catchiest thing on the entire planet. So, um, my favorite song on here is Handle With Care. I always get it stuck in my head because the part that's like, I'm so tired of being lonely. Yeah, you probably don't know the song, but I really love that song, and I love that part of that song. And I have no idea what my third one will be because I have so many good ones. Um, probably... Van Halen's 1984 just because their album art is amazing because it's like a, a baby angel like smoking a cigarette making meaning he's not an angel so um yeah I like this album because it has jump on it jump is my favorite song by Van Halen um Van Halen like literally is not my favorite artist of the uh, in ever in the entire planet or whatever but Van Halen is really talented and if you ever just need a dose of like hard rock music then I would ha highly suggest Van Halen plus Eddie Van Halen is really cute and pretty to look at so I think that that's a bonus but um yeah those are my top three cassettes uh comment below which one was your favorite if you know any of those people on those cassettes but obviously they're pretty old since they're cassettes anyways. Um, and I thank you guys so, so much for watching. And don't forget to comment telling me what you want to see next. And I will try to make a video as soon as possible. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. But I will try and make videos more often. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.